Okay, welcome back. Uh, what I'm doing now is an omnidirectional bi-quad antenna, 5.8 gigahertz for FPV. I've made up a little template uh, with the same measurements from my last video, which is 12.81. 12.81, did I say that right? Yeah, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is just bend a piece over force. That's your waist. I'd be getting cut off in the end, you know. Not one bend. And again. Like so. Now to achieve the other bend. Uh, I've made this and I've allowed for the thickness of the wire, the gauge, so when I bend it at 90 degrees I'm going to have to shift it over this way. Like that. And the whole idea is to try not bend the wire. I should have done this on the edge of the table but I can still sort it out anyway. Right, now we start again. When we've achieved the 90 degrees, we start again and we have to put it up again. Like so. See, I bent the word again accidentally, so I can straighten this up myself when it comes to it. And then achieve, did we achieve another bend? It's a little bit tricky, especially when you have fingers in my size. So, to achieve this bend, bend it over again, or 90. And once more at 90. I'm going to tidy these up myself um, and then cut off the waist here, like so. And then to achieve it, I have to make two more, uh, <coughs> two more lobes and before it gets mounted onto the coax. I found one here so I'm going to use this. The end is already done and saves me doing it. So I've peeled back and I've actually revealed three millimeters of uh, signal wire. And I've peeled back this the, uh, the mesh, the weave, whatever you want to call it. And I might take it back a bit more. It's a bit pre-soldered so I might just do it again. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pre-solder or tin whatever word whatever word you use yourself. I'm going to tin the wires on the ends and the center and on the other four on the, on the other two le uh, lobes as well. It makes a handy name when, I, when I'm going to put it together uh, and using some flux as well. Okay, I'm going to skip now till the next part. All right, I'm going to tin out these wires, make it easier for, uh, make it easier for me to uh, put it together.
Okay. That's done there, so it makes it it's gonna make it a lot easier when I'm putting it together. Um and uh it's a good idea to actually do this when you're soldering, you know? Okay. Let me move on to the next part. Okay. Now what I've done was I fixed them all <coughs> this is um as I didn't say this is a a four tier um, a four leaf uh, by quad antenna for omnidirection and I fit them all together I've used this blue tech here and I have <coughs> the mall button off each other in the centre so my whole thing is to actually solder the centres together without Messing up the shape, it's a little bit tricky. The whole thing is to get them all forward together, like so. Uh, what I'll do then is I let that cool down before I take off the blue tack and the whole thing is um, is to create between the top and the bottom leg is a, a three mil gap which I'm going to make sure that I get I'm going to use a, a spacer for the three mil gap so what what uh, it's for intentionally is for um, the top part will actually get soldered to the signal wire and then the bottom part making the 3 mil gap will actually get soldered then to the, um, the screen or wherever you want to call it okay we'll move on okay my aim here is to uh, Solid the top part to the signal where Now that I've done that, uh, our next part is these bottom legs need to come up more to create that gap, which means that they will be, let me just get something, that they will be, um, this side of the leg will be resting on the top of the screen, the mesh, whatever you want to call it. That's, that's what I have to do now. Okay. Try not to get any solder on the on the top part as well. I'll tidy this up 
as soon as I get it to him. around Just check to see did I catch them? Not the only harm. Putting a bit more in here. And then tidy up this here. Let that cool down. Take some of this out of this. There we have it. <coughs> DIY omnidirectional. I'll straighten up a small bit. For a, <coughs> a bi quad antenna, this is uh, for 5.8 gigahertz. Uh, Okay, we'll uh, let this cool down in a minute, you know. <coughs> now for the test. Now what I've done here is I put on, on here, uh, onto my uh, goggles and I've plugged in this little uh, micro quad with, a, with them all in one cameras. And I've turned her on. That's it there, just to show you. So you know this is not a, uh, a hoax. And I just move this out of the way. That's the picture I'm getting. I hope you can pick her up. If you can see it. Um, I know it's not factory made. It's man made. Um, as time will go on, then. Yeah. Obviously I'll be making them a lot better. But you can see that it does work now. And I have no problems with it at all. Okay, I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye.